So there's not a lot of trails where I go. Because of that, I have to use a lot of washes and a lot of dry creeks as my highway, just as other animals do, just as other people do when there's no trails, just as the Spanish did way back when. Now there was trails made by the Native Americans, but they weren't keen on showing it to them. And I don't blame them. So because of that, the Spanish would come up these washes and dry creeks, just as I'm doing now, just as we are doing now. And this is what got me started on my Spanish exploration for treasure and vaults because doing this kind of hiking all the time, I would run into Spanish monuments that would point their way back to their silver mine or back to their treasure cove. And I would find them all the time. Now, I'm not saying the treasure was there. Maybe somebody else read it long before me and got the treasure. But it's really cool to be able to read this stuff, like the heart, like the cross, and find your way to what these people were doing. It's so cool. Even if you don't find the treasure, you're still standing in their footsteps. And I don't know. That just brings me closer to the past. And I really enjoy that. I want to be more in tune, a little closer to the past. Well, I'll take a look at that. sorts of stuff to be found here. And that's why I came here. All the sorts of things can be found here. Because of the history. Because of the people. And this environment. This environment is very, very non-forgiving. Even on days when I think it's gonna be cool, it ends up being scorching. And days that I think it'll be warm, I end up freezing. It's something else to think that people were living in this environment on purpose, successfully growing corn, squash, beans, raising turkeys, and just living in this successfully. I mean, that's just fantastic. What, what a trip they had.